Hi, and welcome to another video from the Market Outlook. So in today's video, we will be looking at Shopify. We are on the daily time frame. Currently, Shopify is trading at about 1,476. And we can see that right now, Shopify is losing some bullish momentum. Based purely on price action alone, we can see that the higher highs have stopped forming and we form a lower high over here and a small little lower low over here as well recently. So that shows us that the momentum is going down and furthermore to see further confluence in the idea is that the green line, the RSI line is dropping over the past few months as you can see over here. And this really shows us a very bearish momentum and even more so you can see RSI is below the 50 level. So it is in the sell zone and that is something that's bearish for Shopify. So with this loss in bullish momentum, I would expect further consolidation and we have to react if price action does hold up in this support zone. If I draw the support zone over here, you can see that price action has tried to break below the support zone. However, it's unable to break through. But this multiple retest of this support zone means that buyers are slowly waning out of this support zone. And if there's even more retest, we can expect that prices might fall below this support zone. Higher probability of it doing so. So that is something that we would like to see. We want to see higher highs being formed. Based purely on price action, we want to see higher highs being formed. Some consolidation before a move to the upside. Of course, if prices break below this support zone, we look to retest. And we wait for a bearish signal for prices to reach to this 200 day moving average. So right now, we're still on the fences on Shopify. I think right now there's a lot of sideways movement. And what further supports this sideways movement is if we go to the four hourly time frame, you can see this trader dynamic index. The yellow line is the market sentiment line. I can see that the market sentiment line is very indecisive. It's going between the buy zone, it's going between the sell zone and it's not yet decided although it has been holding the buy zone for the past few months right now it's indecisive we're in between the zones so that is why we will expect further consolidation for shopify and we have to wait and see what kind of formation forms further on the support zone whether it holds or breaks and we can look for a better risk to reward ratio to go to the upside so that's my quick analysis for shopify I think right now Shopify is very clearly on the sideways movement and we should wait for further chart confirmations. So with that, I have ended my quick analysis of Shopify and if you have enjoyed this video, do remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Trade safe everybody.